this because there, there is one issue facing this nation right now that, that is far greater than what we're even discussing at this point, and that is jobs. And the lack of jobs in this nation as a result of two failed years of an experiment that just didn't work. Now, we can talk about spending all we want. We're going to talk about that, I know, for the next day and two and over the next couple of weeks. You know what? The American people just expect us to deal with cutting spending here at the federal government. They just sent us here and they said, you know what? Just take care of your job. Get it done. Spend within your means. Don't spend more than you get. And take care of your job. But at the same time, understand what's happening back home on Main Street. And I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, as I go home each and every week, and I see the devastation that's occurring all across all the communities in my district. It is amazing to see the for sale signs, the for rent signs that just pop up each and every week that are anew because of a failed experiment that has occurred here. So we heard the gentleman a minute ago say the Republicans have no plan. Well, let's talk about their plan and how effective it has been with what we've had two years now of at or above 9 percent unemployment, 15 million Americans looking for a job, Deficit spending now what going on one trillion dollars for three consecutive years and yet we are on the the eve of the the week here in which we're going to celebrate President Barack Obama's claim of the the summer of recovery one year anniversary of that claim I want to tell you Mr. Speaker there has been no recovery as a result of the policies passed by this administration we must take a different direction it starts here by cutting spending it starts by reducing the size of government and the, and the reason is very simple because the, the less that the government has in its pocket the less that it's spending there is more left for the American people and when the American people have more money in their pockets they have the ability to expand their businesses. They have the ability to uh, dream an idea, have a great idea, go out and invest in that idea. They have the ability to hire new employees. They have the ability to invest in new capital. But instead, this Congress over the last couple of years has hoarded that wealth, kept it here in Washington, divided it out to the winners that they choose just through their, their own uh, pickings here. Who's going to get the money of the American people? They dole it out left and right. And yet today when we're looking at giving it back to the American people, the other side stands against it once again. Mr. Speaker, it's time to get Americans back to work. We don't do that through the expansion of the public sector. We do it through the expansion of the private sector. Let's empower the American people and take some power away from the federal government. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.